When you create a page navigation menu in Power BI, you want to make sure that your buttons look like, well, buttons that you can click on. And one way to achieve that is with a hover effect. So that when you hover over the button, maybe the color changes of the font or of the outline. And one cool effect that you often see in websites is that the text shifts to the right, a little borderline appears on the left hand side of the text. And this you can also achieve in Power BI. However, requires a little trick that I'm gonna show you in this video. Welcome to How to Power BI, my name is Buzz, and if this is the very first time for you visiting this channel, then make sure to hit that subscribe button to stay up to date on all of my videos in which I share everything I know about Power BI. Now let's have a look how we can create this hover effect where the text shifts to the right, a little borderline appears on the left hand side of the text. Now as a starting point, let's create the background of our navigation menu. So let's go to insert and then to shapes. And from here we choose a rectangle. And we're going to make this rectangle as high as the page itself. And then I would go here to the formatting of that shape. And here we can choose an exact width. So this is going to be important that you choose an exact number so that we know later on where to place the buttons. So the width is going to be 250. And over here, the X position, just make sure that this is zero. So now that we have the background, let's insert a blank button. So again, under insert, we go to buttons and we choose a blank button. Now let's place it a little bit lower, make it a little bit bigger, and then again go to the formatting. Now also here, we have to be exact. So the width that we are going to choose is 200. That means to get it into the middle, we need to have 25 pixels from the left-hand side. That means there are also 25 pixels on, on the right-hand side. Then here at the Y position, let's just go for a round number like 100. And then over here we have the height. Let's go for 50. The next part that we're going to change is that we want to turn the outline off. And then we can go and add some text. So let's turn that on. And for the default state, let's call this first button the summary button. And so this will bring us to the summary page. Then for the font color, we can go for white. And then the text size, let's make it a little bit bigger. Let's go for 16 points. When we hover over it, nothing really happens. So we need to add some effect so that the end user knows, okay, when we click on it, it does something. It, in this case, that will be navigating to a certain page. So the first part of the effect that we're going to add is to push the text a little bit to the right. Now let's go back to the formatting here on the text. And then here we have now the default state. And if we go down a little bit, we can first align the text to the left so that we have the text on the left hand side of the button. And here we can choose our margins. Now by default, it is set to four. This is basically the space that you have and the size of the buttons. Now, what we wanna do next is that we change the default state to on hover. And then when somebody hovers over the button, then we want to push the text to the right. Uh, to the right. So that means we have to increase the left margin. So let's put that one to 20. So when I hover over the button, you see the text goes to the right. All right, so this is the first part. The next part is to add a little borderline on the left hand side when we hover over it. You might think, oh, that's easy. We just go back to formatting and then we look maybe on the outline and then we can say also on hover. And then we want to have an outline color, but only on the left hand side. Well, this option is not there, okay? So here on the outline, we cannot do it. So a second thought that you might have is that to go to border, but also there, it's very limited. Okay, so not so much that we can change here. We cannot say something like, okay, put a left border there for a button. So we have to think of a workaround. What we could do is add an extra shape on the left-hand side of that button and then overlap the two. So let's go back here on the insert and then add a shape. Now the shape that we are going to use is a line and let's resize it a bit. Okay, then we go to format shape. And here we can also change the rotation and put that to 90 degrees so that we have a vertical line. And then we go here in the outline where we can set the different color. Let's go for yellow. Let's make it a little bit wider. Let's go for maybe three pixels and then we can resize it. Okay. Now the size of this line is going to be important and we have to be exact. So that means we can go here to general and here we can choose with, let's say a 15. 
a height, well, you could go for 50. I like to go a little bit smaller, let's say 40. And then we can also choose over here the X position and Y position. Now the X position is also going to be 25 pixels from the left hand side. So that is at the same starting point from the left as the button. So it will overlap. If we then also choose the same Y position. Now, before we chose 100 for the button, however, because we have a different height, we have to push it a little bit further down by five pixels, so that we have five pixels at the top and five pixels below. Now, if you look over here on the left, you see it's overlapping with the text exactly in the middle. Now, we don't want to have this icon above the text, but in the back of the text. So to change the order, we can go over here to view and make sure that the selection pane is open. And then here inside of the selection pane, you see we have our three shapes. Now, first of all, we have the background. Let's rename this one to background. And then we have the button shape and we have over here the shape. So the shape, let's call that one icon. And then here the button, you can leave it as it is, that's fine. And now I want to make sure that that line is at the back of the button. So I just drag it down. All right, so now that is done. You see, both are still visible. But what we can do next is go and select the button, go to fill and add a fill color to it. So that we say for the default state, we choose the same color as the menu background and put the transparency all the way down to zero. You see now the line is not visible anymore. So the next thing that you need to do is that for the fill color in the hover state, there we want to put the transparency to 100%. And that is the main part of the trick because if you now hover over it, you see the transparency is set to 100%, the text is pushed to the right, and the line on the left hand side becomes bit visible. So it's just like you have added a borderline on the left hand side on hover. So now we have our hover effect. And the next thing that we can do is just duplicate what we got here. So first, clean it up in the selection pane. So basically here, the button shape and the icon shape, they belong together. So let's group them. Okay, so let's select both of them, click on the three dots and then group. Now, then we can rename it and let's rename this one to button one. All right, then I'm going to select it and just control C, control V to copy it. And I do that three times. Or well, let's go for four buttons. Okay, so now that we have our four buttons, let's go to the selection pane and put them in the right order. Meaning let's put the first button at the top and the second one in the second position, etc. All right, so by clicking on it, you see which one is which, okay? So just place them in the right order. And then in the end, also rename them so that we have here button one, then we have button two, then we have button three, and the last one that's going to be button four. So now that we have these buttons organized in the selection pane, let's also organize them in our menu. So I'm going to select not all four of them, but only these last three buttons, and let's move them a little bit more to the right. Once you have moved them to the right, you select also that first one, so that you have all four, go to format, align, and then align to the left. Then we can also say align and distribute vertically so that we have an equal space in between these buttons. The next thing is that we need to update button two, three, and four. So we can do this one by one. And the easiest way to select them is just go here to the selection pane, click on button, and then go to text and choose the text that you want for the default state as well as for the hover state. Okay, so instead of summary, we could call this one maybe finance and then also here, on hover state, we also want to have finance. Then we go to the next one, click on button, text, and this one is going to be, well, on the default state, we want to show marketing, and then on the hover state, also marketing. Okay, so that's fine. Then the last one, this button, switch to default state. This is going to be the department operations, and also here for the hover state, just double check, operations. Now then for all of the different departments, we can also choose different colors for these icons. So also here from the selection pane, just choose the icon for the second button, go to outline, choose a different color. And you do that for all of them. So just go for the colors that you find pretty. So purple, red, and maybe for the last one, we can choose green. Okay. And now you see we have 
the effect that we were looking for. Now for this example, we showed a borderline on the left hand side, but of course this icon, you can also change. Uh, so if you want, you can be very creative by going to the icon and then we can go over here and to shape. Now at this point, we went for the line, but you see, especially in the latest version of, uh, of Power BI, you have a lot of different options. So you could also go for maybe something like a right triangle. Then you could make it look like this over here. Where the idea is the same, huh? we just choose to show just the left hand side of that icon. And when you hover over it, you see it changes to a triangle that slightly overlaps with the button text. And the same effect you can also use to create maybe a horizontal menu at the top of your pages. So in this case, when I hover over it, it pushes the text a little bit up. And then we have a horizontal line instead of the vertical line before. But the idea is the same. The line is in the back and then we have the button on top. When we are in default state, it has a background color. When we hover over it, the background color becomes 100% transparent. Now, of course, we are here in the Power BI desktop editor. So that means when I hover over it, we also now have a frame around it, but you don't see this frame, of course, when we publish it to Power BI service. So let's click on publish. I see when we have our vertical menu and I hover over it, there's no frame. Let's switch now to the horizontal menu and you see, there's no frame anymore. So this is how you can create a pretty cool hover effect for your page navigation buttons. Now, maybe you have some more ideas, then put them in the comment section below. Also, if you have any questions, just share them with us. Now, thank you for watching. And if you like this video, you got some value out of it, then consider subscribing. And I hope to see you in the next video.